How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. Welcome back to part two of our chimney build here on the porch of the barn dominium. In this uh, part of the video we will get the stack in and we're going to bring you guys along and let you uh, follow along with us as much as I possibly can. It's really hard to do video work up on top of the roof by myself so I do get a little bit of help for that so uh, we could do this video for you guys to watch us. We're going to start off where we left off and we're going to start make, marking all the holes so we can line this chimney up and get all the holes cut out. So enjoy. Alright so what we've done this is the top of our stove we cut a piece of cardboard six inches round that will fit right down inside so it sets right in the top of our stove. We got our stove set in the far away from the wall as we want it. It's got the right uh, clearances. Now all we have to do is go to the ceiling and put the plumb bulb right in the center of this. We want our plumb bulb to be right in the middle. And then we'll mark the ceiling where the hole has to go for the pipe to go through. It's over this way. Oh. Oh. I mean, that looks pretty darn close. I mean, I don't know if we can get, get it much okay. closer. Alright, so now we got a dot on the ceiling here where um, we need to drill a hole. And we have a truss going right through here. So we're going to be just off to the side of that truss. Now whatever you guys do, you want to be really careful drilling this hole through your ceiling because now if you have wires laying up in there, you, you want to make sure there's nothing in the way up there uh, that you're going to drill through into. You don't want to drill into a wire. So we're going to drill a hole right where the center of this is going to go. So now what I'll do is go upstairs in the attic and I'll be running that plumb bulb from the metal on the ceiling down to that hole right there. Then I'll have me a good, I'll know exactly where my stack is going to come down through. Okay, up here in the attic, you can see we have a truss right here. There I tried to mark out with a black marker. That was our hole that we drilled up through there. So I took the plumb bulb Took the plumb bob, stuck it on that, got it right up there like so. And I put a dot right here on the ceiling. Now that's the center, but what I'm gonna have to do is measure my pan and cut this plastic out of here and get that dot up on the metal. I need that dot to be up on that metal up there, not on that plastic. But we do, that is straight up. That's perfect where our stack's gotta go. So we'll be cutting this truss right here. We'll be cutting it, but we'll do our best. I think we can do a nice job on this and support it to where it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, so where our center was up there, you can see we got the paper cut there. Now we're gonna mark that again. We gotta find the center again and mark it because we basically gotta get that transferred onto the metal. All right, the next part of the build, we're gonna be cutting some two befores. I got about eight two befores here. Because where the trusses go, we're going to have to build that in to make sure we, that our truss stays sturdy. And I did pick up a switch, uh, a toggle switch, for the back of our wood burner uh, to be able to turn the blower on and off without plugging it in and unplugging it. So we'll just leave it plugged in and have a little switch. But we'll get into that later. But we're going to get on these boards, we're going to get some measurements, and we're going to get these couple of these cut. All right, so what I've done is I've, I've measured between my trusses, and I know I have a truss right in here somewhere that has to be cut, but this side will reach one truss and this will reach the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this box that once I cut them trusses, I'll be able to place this box right down inside of there. And this part of the chimney stack 
This is the support box will fit down through this hole. Once we get this placed in there, all we'll have to do is cut the plywood that's on the ceiling, cut it out, and then we'll be able to place this down through this hole. So I'm just kind of building this here so I don't have to build it in the attic. Now the goal to this box is so this box fits down inside of it. And it has to fit perfectly down inside of it or it won't work. Now I left about an, I actually left a quarter inch so that's an eighth inch all the way around a little bit of space so I can make sure that it fits in the hole without beating it in there. And I think we did a very good job on that. So now this is the piece that will go down on the top side of the ceiling. So now we got to go in and we got to cut out the truss that's in the way for this to go in. Okay, so this is the truss that we're going to have to cut right here and cut it right there. I need just over 17 and a half. It's like, just cut the black off of it. I think I'll be fine. Um, now... I really don't like cutting this truss, but I don't want my wood burner out here in the middle of the floor either. I don't think this is going to hurt. I've seen trusses on buildings like this, uh, built like this, with trusses four foot apart. So I, we're on 24 inch centers, and we're going to support this really good uh, when we get done here. It'll, it'll be supported really well. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy cut. Hopefully we can do this. Now I went off that line down below and I got a level here and I made a straight line on this one here also. So we're going to have to cut this out of the way. That ceiling down there was nailed into place, so it's got some screws going up through it. We're just trying to get this out of here. Now we'll take our little hand saw and we'll be able to finish down this truss here. Do this side too, same way. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to get the board, the box that we built out there in the garage, and we're hoping this guy will fit in here tight hopefully fairly tight but fit might have to tap it into place here I do think that that's a pretty good fit there. Nice and tight. Now, our goal is that this little circle has to be about seven and a quarter inches all the way around. That thing looks pretty Pretty daggone good, I think, if I say so. 
looks pretty good so we're going to check it with a square nice there Ooh, nice there oh we're perfectly square so i'm almost 100 percent that our box is going to fit right down in here so what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and screw this to this rafter uh to this uh, truss on this side over there on that side and then we will screw into this one and screw into this one so it'll be back in there holding that middle beam up right there by screwing it to this all right we're hoping today is the day that we get to finish up putting the stack in uh, I got some of it ready and I do have a friend coming to give me a hand and what I'm doing is I'm laying out on the table over here everything I need to put this stack in with. The only issue is yesterday it was calling for 0% of rain today and now I'm seeing a high of 35% chance of rain today. So I don't know if we'll do it or not but it's either going to be today or tomorrow. But I've been laying out on the table over here everything that i need uh to mount this in all the tools everything that i think i might need while we're doing the job is laid out here on the table so we could do this actually pretty fast because we don't want to take a lot of time doing it and just in case it does rain but having all the tools ready are uh, a big thing uh yeah i uh i'm going to be putting mine in with silicon 100% silicon uh, we're going to use this to seal it one nice thing about silicon is it does not burn so you can put that right on the side of your pipe and it's not going to hurt it so uh yeah we've got a lot of stuff laid out i already took one ladder over i'm getting ready to take this big ladder over and this is what they call a ridge hook ladder and i put some styrofoam on it and some duct tape and a board to keep it from damaging my metal and then we put uh this is nothing but a uh, pipe insulator you know the stuff that you would wrap around a three quarter inch pipe to insulate it that's all that is and we put them throughout the whole thing one there little spacers one under there little spacer there and over the legs that way when we lay it on the roof it doesn't scratch up the roof so when we get ready to start putting this thing in I'm going to bring you guys along with as much of it as I possibly can. That way, hopefully, you'll be able to put your own chimney stack in. All right, so you guys remember when we took the plumb bulb and went from the metal roof down to the ceiling and we centered it up. Well, we use this as our template. This is the size hole we need to cut. So I drilled a hole the same size as this nail. I used, drilled the hole through the metal. Now I'm going to go up on the roof, slide that nail down through that hole. Then I'm going to mark out what needs to be cut. Okay, so we're up on the roof here. And uh, you can see the hole. This is going to be the center of my stack. So all I have to do is take my template and put my nail through that hole. Now, I know that my stack will be perfect as long as I don't move it. This should be exactly where I need my hole to be. Alright, so what I did was I marked around the edge, the high spots, and I put a piece of tape on them all the way around. Got my nail centered up in there. We should be really close. Then I took a pencil. I marked around it so I know exactly where it's at so now we can take her tape back off maybe and we should have the hole marked where we need to cut now what I could do here the line is not real real visible but I can always take a paint marker and just 
dotted line right around this so you can see that dotted line on that white so now we have a nice dotted line around there that you should be able to see real clear and make sure there's no mistakes we want this thing to be perfect the first time otherwise we're going to buy two pieces of metal this piece and that piece and uh i don't want to buy it so now all we got to do is we'll have to get this cut out all right so what i got is my friend here ronnie he's helping us he's helping me with this uh, uh install and he's punching holes so we can get the drill or get the cutters in there to be able to cut the circle out just using a one inch paddle bit just for now and we don't really care what these holes are we just need holes So what we're doing now is we're marking out everything here so we can cut this truss out. We have to cut that truss out of there. And what we want to do is we're going to remove those boards and slide that cone up from the bottom. That's going to work out a lot better. We now have a skylight. <laughs> Don't move your head around in the circle while well, turning. Don't not hit the metal. <laughs> So now we got everything opened up now, we can go ahead and we'll cut our, we have a template over there. We'll set it on the hole and then we'll cut the plastic and then we'll be able to slide our metal up in there. Hopefully this will work out the way we want it. And then we'll rebrace everything back up. Okay, we're getting ready to put our cone in. So we silicone this really, really good. And he's up here silicone the top too. Now we're still going to do more sealing once we get up on the roof, but this should uh, hold it into place and we get this thing set up in there. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the hole. You remember we both boxed this in. That's where our box is going to go for our insulation. That's going to hold our whole chimney up. We put a couple plates around to make up the space of that two before. Now we ran our boards all the way over on both sides. We'll screw them into place. Once we get this box in, we'll be ready to put our stack in. All right, so what you can see is we stacked a couple two befores. It says to leave it hang down two inches, but we want to put a rough cut ceiling in here. So we're going to leave it go down three inches. That's going to give me a little extra space. So I'll be able to butt my boards right up against there. So this is where that block is going to slide down through right there. That's going to, that block is going to protect your insulation and anything from getting up close to that pipe. Okay. Now that we put our box down in there, we're going to screw right through the side. And that's what's going to hold our chimney stack up. And there's where we'll screw our stack onto, right there. Pretty simple setup. And you just hope and pray that everything lines up perfect. Okay, we got our stack put in, but here's the thing. I do believe that the stack, the pitch on my cone up here was not for as steep as my roof. So it actually brought it closer to this side as you could see right in here. But we had to cut this board back and get it back far enough to where we're two inches from this here. And I'm sure we're safe because we have more than two inches from anything burnable. All right, so we had just a little bit of an issue with that pipe. Uh, when we got to the top of the roof, it seemed to me like the, the cone that went up uh, was tilted too far. Now, I looked on the box, uh, you know, the instructions, and on the box it says the pitch of the roof. Now, I have a 512 pitch on my roof, and it says that that stack is good up to 612 pitch. So there should have been no reason why it kind of slid my stack over a little bit. Like the metal on the top was too long. When it went up to the roof up there, it was like it was too long. It pushed the stack over. 
but it's out of line just a little bit not really even enough where you can notice outside it still looks great and I don't think we're gonna have any issues we were at least an inch and a quarter away from any combustibles up there I think it's gonna work out great don't forget uh, in the description down below we're gonna be leaving some links of maybe the stack and some of the things we might have used in this project uh, some Amazon links and I do appreciate you guys using them links because that does help the channel out it helps us out a lot so I'd like to tell you thanks for using the Amazon uh, links there uh, we appreciate it check out our store got a lot of videos in that store now in the next part uh, we still got some more to do we got the trim on the inside to put up on the ceiling and we're going to get this thing fired up and we're going to try to burn that new paint off. We are out on the porch. We'll be able to open the windows and heat that thing up and let it air out in case it got a little bit of stink to it. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.